Hi guys and welcome to today's task. For today's task, I am doing my first technically repair on this RV, which I don't think I've ever gone RVing and not had to do some sort of a repair. And we're gonna be working on this table extension. This hinge has broken on our way down here. Now it was probably damaged already, but over the 3000 miles that we drove to get here, stuff got bumped and moved and shifted and that was a casualty of it. And luckily there are stores around me that can repair that. So we're gonna repair this and take it off to start with. I do not go RVing without my drill set and I actually do have a top six tools that I recommend in a video that I'll put in the description below. But this comes with me everywhere so that I can do stuff like this. Since it's a tabletop, I'm gonna start by undoing it from here rather than from the side because if I undo here first, it's just gonna slide down. So we'll just undo it from here. Keep in mind, when you're working on anything with an RV, they are delicate, so be as gentle as you can. And now we'll just undo this hinge from the wall. Something to definitely keep in mind when it comes to RVs is they use a Phillips screw, but they also use a square bit. If you're feeling it strip or give way with a Phillips bit, Find the square bit and use that because that will seat into these screws really, really well. So now I'm gonna leave this like this, go to the nearest RV hardware store and see if they have a replacement for me. Luckily, we were able to find this exact hinge at a local dealer in the area. So this is a pretty generic hinge, so that's good. If not, you can find it on Amazon. I do know that and I can link one if you're missing one. We're gonna put it back the same way we took it out and what's great about this one is it's the exact same one so all of our holes will line up as well. I'm just gonna get one started, just to kind of hold everything in place. And like all things, do not cinch them down until you've got all the screws started. So that it gives you that wiggle room you need to get everything started. Now go back through and cinch them all up tight. A little tighter. <laughs> a little, a little newer. In, yeah. <laughs> I think you gotta kind of lift up a little bit. That's probably why I broke it in the first place. Lift up, lay down, and there we go. And this other one looks like it's about to go, and I can tell there's a little bit of wood glue is necessary right there, so we'll take care of that when we get all the way settled at our final destination. But at least that hinge is no longer broken and this isn't gonna tear apart the other hinges. So it is a simple fix, it's really quick, but RVing is DIY hotel camping in my opinion. So not everything's left up to the maintenance people, you gotta do it yourself a little bit, but it's half the fun, I think. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and until then, we'll see you next time. Can you turn it down? Um, I think it only gets brighter. For today's task, we are fixing and doing a, oh, let's see. The long ride that we go, sorry. I do not go anywhere in just a second, but, and definitely keep in mind, you don't gotta put it on me. If you're feeling it strip or give way with a Phillips. Say if you're feeling it. Fill apart. Yep. Luckily, we, <clears throat> put it kind of on me too. Okay, I love On my face. Oof. Your hands are right away. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be for a second. Okay. <laughs> but we're just going to put it back the same way no, we took it. Oops. Okay. Now just hold it kind of steady. In there for a second. Oh. She was pretty strong. <laughs> I think you're going to hate what I'm filming. No. That's great. 